As we get ready to head back to school, we wanted to look into one of the options that might be available in the classroom, in particular face covering. Yes, health reporter Haley Hernandez is here with more on what we might see this fall. Haley? Yeah, good morning, guys. So we already know the Texas Education Agency bought millions of pieces of personal protective equipment to prepare for the new school year. Of course, on the list is face masks, but they've also requested face shields. And several of you, including one of my old Clear Lake High School teachers, asked, are the shields as safe as masks? Experts agree wearing masks is one way we can slow the spread of COVID-19. But as we think about our kids going back to school, the TEA is hoping face shields will also be an option for staff. We asked Dr. Allison Haddock with Baylor College of Medicine for her advice. I think that face shields are a great alternative to masks in situations uh, and for people for whom masks might be a bit of a challenge, especially for people who may have hearing difficulties and need to see um, faces and facial expressions. Face shields can be a good option um, if other people are having sort of sensory issues. Scrolling on Amazon, we found a lot of options for face shields in a variety of styles, but they are not all the same at protecting you. Dr. Haddock says go for maximum coverage. You want to make sure it gives you pretty complete coverage. So that means it needs to go back towards your ear a fair ways and needs to go down past your chin um, and needs to start up you know, fairly well above your eyes. Um, a smaller face shield is going to be less protective against droplets. If you're a teacher wearing these shields or just wearing one for personal use, cleaning is key. You want to take it off carefully, but also probably consider your hands to be contaminated once you've taken it off. Um, so you can wipe this down with an antiseptic wipe if you have one, um, or if you don't, you could wash it with soap and water in the sink and then make sure you wash your hands very, very thoroughly afterwards as well. The TEA has not said yet what districts will get face shields or how they might be used. As for the current mask order, though, according to guidelines, face shields are an okay substitute. Lisa Owen. Hmm. Yeah, something to get used to. Exactly. Our new normal. Yeah. Haley, thank you. Thank